On this vote, the yeas are 219, the nays are 212. The motion to concur. The Democratic the controlled Congress has approved historic legislation extending health care to tens of millions of Americans. The vote in the House was 219 to 212. Republicans were unanimously opposed. Joel Brown has the very latest from Capitol Hill. President Obama's dream of overhauling the nation's health care system will soon be a reality. Current the Senate amendment is adopted. House Democrats secured three more votes than the 216 they needed to push through the historic legislation. We tonight will make history for our country and progress for the American people. The passage of the landmark legislation comes after months of angry public protests. You don't know that. And a day filled with contentious debate in the House. Republicans unanimously opposed the bill, calling it dangerous. Let's bring down this bill and bring back the ideas that made this country great. Folks are scared. They are really scared. But the bill that will extend coverage to 32 million Americans still steamrolled ahead, thanks in part to an 11th hour deal to gain the support of a handful of lawmakers. President Obama agreed to issue an executive order that will reaffirm the ban against federal funds for abortion. President Obama lobbied hard to get his signature issue passed. A White House aide says he called or met with over 90 members of Congress just over the past week. The House first voted on the Senate's health care bill. A vote on legislation to fix that version is pending. Before we were born, the task of bringing affordable health care to every American was on our nation's agenda, waiting for this day. The Senate bill will head to the president for a signature. If approved, the second bill would be sent to the Senate for more debate and a final vote. Joel Brown, CBS News, Washington. Democratic Congressman Mark Schauer of Battle Creek voted for the health care bill because he says it will cut costs for Michigan families and businesses. Uh, I voted for this bill for the young woman in my district with a lump in her breast that cannot afford a biopsy that would save her life. Voted for this bill for the senior citizen with MS that falls in the prescription drug donut hole in January of each year. Uh, I voted for this bill uh, for the small business owner that called me that sees annual double-digit premium increases on, health, on his health insurance. 